Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coinskid. Just going to dive into XRP. Um, once again, thank you for your continued support across the board here. Really do appreciate everything that you do. Honestly, thanks for helping Coinskid grow into a 90k sub channel. And thanks for everything you do. The comments, the likes, the sharing, everything you do. Honestly, I wish I could meet you on the beach and buy you a beer. But I think if I met 90k people on the beach, I'd be a little bit out of pocket. So I'll buy a couple of you a beer, okay? But yeah, it's all golden, okay? And it's all golden. I hope you continue to stick with the channel. And I, I really appreciate your support in helping this uh, thing grow into what it is. So right now, we're going to dive into XRP. And I can imagine a lot of you are getting really frustrated with XRP because I am equally getting frustrated with it. And this is what consolidation is. This is where you break up, you think, yay! And then it comes back down. And you're like, what the? and you're looking to the left and you're looking to the right and other coins are mooning and you know you're getting frustrated basically and that's what it that's what it is that's what consolidation is it's really really frustrating really choppy up down up down up down but as long as you're adhering to support you're not correcting and crashing any harder and that's really good so i just want to outline here our future price predictions here obviously 27 dollars uh, towards the end of this bull market for xrp i've seen many different uh price predictions for xrp across the board uh some as, as high as 50 some as high as 560 68 that's i think it's 568 or 586 that's a very common number that's thrown around and that that is a multi multi trillion dollar market cap there for xrp and who knows if it swallows up a lot of liquidity in the banking system right there is what is what it's actually going after the the nostro accounting systems there then it could be that we don't know we, we we've not got a crystal ball but all we can do is lay down technical analysis and give you future price predictions based off that and obviously some fundamentals as well and and tokenomics so at the minute it's it's golden basically it's 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 showing really good strength and really good uh upside potential basically um so that's what i'm trying to get to regardless of all this frustration regardless of all this consolidation and chop you know, you just you just got to zoom out. Basically, if in doubt, zoom out because it's looking beautiful, in my opinion. So what I'm going to do is just show you a bit of the history of uh, XRP. You know, from its inception down here in 2013, you can lay down fibs to see exactly how accurate they were. So in this particular little bull run here that it went through, you know, the up down chop, and you think it's going to zero and stuff like that, you can lay down the fibs to sort of see exactly how it got on. So obviously, from the bottom to the top there, the cycle bottom to the cycle top, just there, you can see exactly look so this is why fibs are amazing because you topped out you bottomed out and then you went on and you created the bullish cross and look what happened you appreciate it and look where you hit your head look where you hit your head boom bang on the 1618 extension just like the target we're targeting right now at 27 dollars so that's good that gives confirmation to that fact so right now you can see in this particular bull run here uh, that was the, the, the and i was part of that that was amazing that was amazing and it's coming it's coming uh, not financial advice and obviously not got a crystal ball but you know you don't necessarily have to look at past history determine future results but when it's adhering to certain uh, characteristics and fibonacci retracements and resistance and support you can see you know you plot you plot your lines and you can potentially see where you could potentially get to for for, for these uh, projects so right now you can see that particular bull run there boom target met and that was a phase one of uh, that particular bull run look at that appreciation right there and it shot up to a target right there boom hit it said start to consolidate come sideways look bad that big correction now oh no it's going to zero but no it found support off the weekly EMA like we say to you how important is that when you get overextended and you roll you need to hold it for continuation because if you're holding it the way it does it creeps you up creeps you up creeps you up then it had another breakout so right from there you can go again from that particular bottom to that top and you can see where for, uh, where for him where where XRP actually got to and you can see off that top there to that local bottom it went through the Fibonacci got to the extension and got overextended and took off into space before coming back down and then entering a multi-year bear market so you can see how, how important the Fibonacci retracement tool is okay and right now we're going through exactly the same process we've topped out we've bottomed out we've started to form the, the bullish cross the buy and go to the beach signal from coins kid here this in my opinion this anybody can do this in the next bear market when it comes because a bear market will come mark my words you will have a bear market because it's part and parcel of emerging markets okay bull and bear market cycles until fully adopted uh markets there so effectively you've got your top your bottom you've bottomed out and from that point you can't actually say okay yeah that's a bottom we're going to drop miss fib on there until you get one particular key 
level and key signal and it is this signal here it's the bullish cross on the weekly time frame you buy and go to the beach signal from coins kid when you get that particular signal right there that is confirmation that you are starting the bull market because at that point you could still roll and make the lower lows so this is confirmation that okay we're getting started here lay down your fib to the top lay it down to the bottom look at the bitcoin video look at the ethereum video they're all there they're, they're already they took off into space they've met, met the targets bitcoin's hit its head on the 1618 extension rolled consolidating ethereum has just got through the 1272 extension and now it's marching onto the 141 extension which is around about four and a half thousand unless it finds a, a, a level of resistance before that and rolls that's in the ethereum video but this is xrp and you can see it's making progress but the first thing we have to do obviously is break out of this consolidation event start wave three up to that particular price prediction there 1414 extension before we get the wave four pullback and continuation to the 1618 extension and that's why i do solemnly believe you know that, that, that these based off technical analysis are really uh, possible outcomes for xrp in this ballroom so right now you can see it's consolidating it's making progress and you can see exactly just on the weekly you know where, where it is hitting resistance aside from the fact that you've got the golden ratio on the retracement to the all-time high you can see it's hitting on the weekly it's hitting the resistance resistance of a 0786 okay so that in itself on the retracement right there is indicative of you know that's where the resistance is as well so again if you can start to break that key level of resistance at 161 165 around that sort of area and you start to see xrp march on from that then i do expect more upside and a full retracement to the all-time high there for xrp before continuation in this bull market on wave three so that's it that's basically xrp in a nutshell so that's why we've got that future price prediction and that's why you can see off this particular bull market and bear market we laid it down and a target was met bang on you see how it corrected at that particular point but that at that point it wasn't the end of the bull market it rolled back consolidated before an extension and that is where potentially those people that are laying down those price predictions of fifty dollars a hundred dollars plus or whatever that is where you could actually see that over extension because don't forget you're in a bull market and the end there the end game is that euphoric vertical like here that euphoric that euphoric vertical like that that's what's coming and that's what we've not experienced yet so that's why it's confluence of the fact that we're looking at continuation after this level of consolidation for xrp super super bullish on xrp always have been okay and we made videos when we first started making this channel saying that xrp was your buy and go to the beach uh, crypto project right here it's looking good it's looking good it's been around the bush okay it's been around the block and that's what the things that you want to target like there's a lot of altcoin gems that we've targeting that you know that are retracing to their all-time high and they're, they're, they're getting there they're getting there and we've made those videos so do pay attention to those there's a video we're going to try and make more videos on those particular targets as well because what what's happening we, we, we're in projects that have already gone up and are sort of going sideways but there are certain projects that have got a lot more appreciation in front of them so i will try and get more of those projects out to you okay um once again thank you for your continued support across the channel here what we're going to do is obviously you know you've got this multi-week resistance there on the fibonacci retracement but what we're going to do is jump into the four hourly chart right now and, and see what xrp is doing okay so on the four hour um it's a bit it's a bit more in front of v chain okay xrp is a little bit more in front of v chain because v chain if you do follow the v chain videos v chain's up against the 0618 and it's struggling it's struggling to get above it but once it does i would expect it to sort of do something very similar to what xrp is doing in the retracement it sort of hits its head on a 0786 for a little bit until getting forced out and you can see what what made you force out and just like i've said to you on the v chain video what makes you force out is the back test of support on the four hourly golden cross the yellow line the 20 ema if you keep back testing its support look what happens it creeps you up creeps you up and it forces you to break out of key resistance in this instance instance xrp broke out of the 0618 the golden ratio it took a leg up and obviously it's not going to go there overnight but it's adhering to support and it's hitting its head on resistance and the more it continues to adhere to this yellow line and not lose it as support on the four hourly then the more you're going to sort of look at a very similar scenario like this and you can see once you break through that 0786 which is $1.65 you're looking at that upside to that potential target there so obviously the only thing we have to be aware of is an anomaly and a market correction and something that can make the market crash and like i've said to you the only anomaly i see at the moment is not bitcoin because bitcoin's retracing to a high is ethereum because it's in price discovery and it's coming up against resistance now if you was to see ethereum hit a key level of resistance and start to roll then you would see 
the rest of the market role with that and that's full transparency you know it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out that fact so that's what you've always got to have in your mind and that potentially is why we're seeing a bit of a slowdown in the alts because ethereum's mopping it all up basically but alt season does work like this bitcoin shoots up then ethereum shoots up then the alts follow so perhaps you know once uh ethereum sort of slows down a little bit consolidates not necessarily corrects it just sort of slows down a bit that's when you'll see the 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 pump go in the alts and, and the continuation then and, and then start to break out of these key levels of resistance for xrp so it's very very entertaining really isn't it who said crypto is a bit boring even in consolidation it's a bit flat and boring but so far you know xrp is adhering to these key levels of support which is creeping up creeping up creeping up as long as it can keep back testing it holding it you're going to get a very similar situation as to what you got here where eventually it just pops okay because i tell you what on the daily just like um a fear uh, just like um v chain you're looking really really good really really strong okay for the reversal right here it's looking relatively good relatively good but again keep an eye on that's a really really key level of resistance right there that 165 you know one two three days of, of coming up against it and like i said to you the more you hit something the more you decide it, it decides to roll and you can see how far away you are on the daily here so you could look at potential com coming back down i'm always going to be honest with you you could look at a little bit of a roll just to back test that 0618 one dollar 45 which could prove to be a really good entry point okay if it holds and bounces because right there you could see that the, the the yellow line which is the 20 on the daily come back up this roll a little bit get the back test and actually give it the support it needs because not only does it happen on the four hourly time frame it also happens on any time frame these emas as long as you adhere to them and you start back testing the support look what it's going to do it's going to force you out pop and that's basically xrp so far so good looking relatively strong but always be aware of the anomaly and the correction which obviously in this case is not bitcoin potentially ethereum when it when it does come back down to earth so yeah take care everybody stay strong stay he healthy most importantly stay tuned and thank you for once again for your continued support across the board here for coins kid and i will always keep you updated with xrp and all the cryptos that, that, that you know i can get my hands on so take care everyone i'll be back tomorrow bye bye